Today in our 2003 Honda Accord, we will be installing the draw type sport frame trailer hitch, part number 24787. And here's what the hitch looks like installed. Now I'll give you some measurements to help you choose accessories like bike racks and cargo carriers. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the rear edge of the bumper is five inches. And from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is about 12 and a quarter inches. Now let's go see how it's installed. The first step to installing our trailer hitch will be to lower the exhaust. Before we remove the exhaust hangers, we'll take a strap and kind of add some support to the exhaust to keep it from falling down and doing any damage. Just find a spot to mount the strap up on the frame. Put the exhaust secure. Go ahead and spray some lubricant on the hangers and then pry them out of place. The next step is we'll have to measure four and a half inches back from this bolt. When we get four and a half inch measurement, we'll mark it and we'll drill that out. That'll allow us to get to the mounting point for our hitch. We also want to make sure our tape is lined up with the frame rail. There's our mark. We can now remove the heat shield and we'll drill right there. Now we'll come over here to the driver's side of the vehicle. We'll make that same measurement and we'll mark again. With both our marks made, we can remove our heat shields and get ready to drill them out. To drop this heat shield, we'll remove these four fasteners and the heat shield should lower out of place. With the driver's side heat shield now out of place, we can move to the passenger side of the vehicle and repeat the process. With the heat shields off of and away from the car, we're gonna drill out that hole we marked earlier. We will drill out both heat shields. With the heat shields drilled, we're ready to start the hitch installation process. This is the hardware we'll be using. Take our carriage bolt and our block, and they'll sit up in the frame rail, down through the hitch. We're gonna take our conical tooth washer with the teeth facing towards the hitch, put that on the bottom, File that with the nut and secure it like that. The other side of the hitch will use the same hardware we used on the other side, but the center is going to be a little bit different. Here's the hardware we'll be using for the center. We have our larger carriage bolt, the same washer, and a more solid block. We'll finish that all off with the nut. Take the carriage bolt, slide it in to the hitch from the driver side towards the passenger side, then the block, the conical tooth washer, and then the nut. And this is the hole we'll be mounting our hardware into. We'll start with the block and our carriage bolt. We'll slide our block over the bolt guide and then thread the bolt in. Put the bolt threaded into the guide, we'll place it up into the frame, followed by the block.
And then we'll pull the bolt guide back down, pulling the bolt into place. With the driver's side in place, we'll repeat that process on the passenger side of the vehicle. Now with this application, we will leave the bolt leaders on the bolts to keep from pushing the bolt up into the frame. All right, with the bolt in place, we'll take the bolt guide, push it through the hole we drilled earlier, and grab it here on the bottom of the heat shield. Put our heat shield up into place. Pulling our new bolt through with it. With the driver's side heat shield back on, we can move over to the passenger side of the vehicle and repeat the process. Now we can get ready to mount our hitch onto our van. And it always helps to have a second set of hands around to help do this. Take the hardware we showed you and just thread it into place. With the nuts finger tightened to the hitch just to hold it in place, we'll move to the center of the car and install our center bracket. Use the carriage bolt. The block. The toothed washer. and the nut. We'll go ahead and tighten this nut down to draw the bolt all the way down through the hitch. Once that's done, we'll loosen this bolt back up, install our washer, and retighten it. With all the bolts in place, we'll go ahead and torque the bolts down to the amount recommended in the instructions. With the hitch securely mounted to the car, the exhaust can go back into place. After the exhaust hangers up, we can remove the safety strap. And that'll conclude today's installation of the Draw Tight Sport Frame Trailer Hitch, part number 24787 on our 2003 Honda Accord.